we met at church. Um, actually, Jamie works with my brother's uh, now wife, and uh, they were dating at the time, and she thought that Jamie and me would hit it off, and uh, we actually went to the same church. Uh, I just hadn't been in a little while, so we decided to go and have lunch after, so we met at church, and when I first saw her, I was like, man, she's never gonna go for me. She's, she's too pretty. And, uh, but we hit it off right away, and I actually had to go <clears throat> to New Orleans for a uh, music gig uh, right after we met. So, and that was like a week, uh, almost two weeks later is when I texted her to, for our first date. And, uh, and I just texted her to see if she wanted to go to a movie. And uh, that was the first night we actually hung out uh, after the movie and talked, and, and we just hit it right off. It was great. Our most memorable moment, um, besides our first kiss, uh, that was a very memorable moment. Um, actually, we went when we went to Disneyland together back in January. Uh, just the whole the whole experience, meeting her family and being with her in her hometown, and also in Disneyland was just exciting. And, and I don't know, I just felt felt the love for the family right away too, and and. Uh, yeah, that was that's probably the most memorable so far, is just that trip. Ah, uh, I proposed to her um, with a bit of trickery on Christmas Eve. I buried, uh, well, actually, a few days before Christmas Eve, I called her dad and asked if I could marry her or if I could have her hand. He said yes, and um, so I buried the ring in a huge box for Christmas and I told her that it was Tupperware or they told my parents told her that it was Tupperware and she said she thought that's what it was going to be. She opened it up had to dig through a lot of uh, paper and she saw the ring and was like what's going on and that's when I dropped to my knee and I said will you marry me and she took 35 seconds to say yes because she didn't think I had talked to her dad, and uh, she had me sweating bullets for 35 straight seconds. But that's how I proposed, and I proposed to her. Today, Jamie, you've completed me, and uh, you've made me the happiest man alive, and I'm glad that you said yes that day, and I'm glad that you're in my life now, and I love you very much. Trace and I were set up by a co-worker and so it was a kind of blind church date almost. We met somewhere uh, where we would be casual and comfortable and where there was no pressure. I'm, a, I'm more excited than nervous. I, I do want things to go well but I know as long as he's down at the end of that aisle and we leave Mr. and Mrs. Holcomb, I'll be happy. Most memorable moment. Um, the first time he told me that he loved me, we were sitting down on my couch and I wasn't expecting to hear it from him. And we had a deep conversation. He said, I, I love you. And I just remember being so happy and so excited. And it just it caught me off guard. And, to know that he was feeling the same way I was feeling. That, he was sneaky and he did it Christmas Eve. He, he hid the ring in a huge package and he made me think that it was Tupperware. And I opened it up and there was this small tiny box. And when I looked up he was down on one knee asking me to marry him. Trace, I love you so much and I'm so excited to spend the rest of my life with you. I'm excited. Let's go get me married! Woo! Woo! Don't lose my vows! <laughs> 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 Uh, Trace, Jamie, we love you. We love you, and we know that y'all are going to be so happy together. Y'all are awesome. Y'all are make a great couple, and we're very happy for you.
watching the night skies or the beautiful sunrise. There's so much they hold, and just like them old stars, I see that you come so far. Be right where you are. How old is your soul? I won't give up on us, even if the skies get rough. I'm giving you all my love. I'm still looking up. I'm navigating. I'll be here patiently waiting to see what you find.